Hey everybody, this is Ashley with Publish with Ashley, and I am here to talk about my number one newest method to basically generate endless ideas for Kindle Direct Publishing. I know a lot of you struggle with finding niches and finding ideas, and I've come across an awesome free way to do that. And so I wanted to share that with you all. Um, but if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And I like to talk about Kindle Direct Publishing. I'm going to start talking a lot more about Merch by Amazon because I know people are interested in that. And I've kind of... Uh, I'm getting better at Merch by Amazon, and so I wanted to kind of share my journey with you. But one of the other things I like to talk about is finding your target market and advertising. So if you are interested in those things, please like and subscribe to my channel. All right, so I am super excited about this tip, and it's it's really, it's so simple, um, and it's just, it's really powerful and interesting. And so I got the idea from a friend, and so I fiddled with it, and I've come up with um, the amazon.com store method to look through this and so it's just a great way to, to to research and kind of come up with ideas and I just I think you'll really be amazed at how interesting and powerful this is okay so we're gonna go to my computer and I'm gonna show you this okay we're here on my computer on my desktop and you can see it and what I have here is I have found um, a code that you can code, I guess it's the web address, if you want to say it that way, to look up um, independently published books on Amazon. So it kind of lists, and I'm not actually sure if it lists everything, but for the purposes of doing research and thinking and, you know, just trying to come up with ideas and see what's selling, who cares? It's like the best of uh, what is independently published currently. And it gives you just lists and lists. Okay, so right here, and I love that it shows it in order. This is so cool. So I, as you can see, it's basically just a list of all the things that are independently published. And then it's talking, it's basically doing it by uh, the order that it's in. So number 43, number 89, 130, 191. So these are all independently published books and it's showing you what they are. And what I think is so amazing about this um, is that you can come up with, you can see what's selling and you can come up with some ideas. Now do remember this list, these people might have a following, they might have email lists, they might be spending a ton of money on advertising. So you don't know why they're in the order their order um, or why they're selling so well like this person right here this Jensen William maybe they have a huge email list maybe they have a, a blog or a website all about air fryer cooking and so that's why they're number 43 I'm sure Christmas sales help um, but they also might have a following so don't just think if you publish in this niche that it's going to instantly do well but what this is really great is it's showing you what people are purchasing from independent publishers and ideas that you can do right these are things that you can make other independent publishers have made this you can make this too um so you just can go through and look um, let's see, we've got Would You Rather books, Interesting Facts, Fun Fact books. These are cool. If you can get something like this, um, remember a copyright, you have to, the facts themselves are probably public domain. If you pull just facts out, years and dates and things, that's going to probably be public domain. But the way it's written, you can't just pull things out of the internet and use them. You have to like write the facts in your own words, right? Um, that's the same, oh here, let's go up here. That's the same with recipes. A list of ingredients cannot be, at least in the US, cannot be copyrighted, trademarked, and trademark, yes, there's definitely trademark words, but a list of ingredients would have copyright, not necessarily trademark on it. Um, you can have a list of ingredients. That's not, any list of ingredients is fine. What's really um, copywritten and what can be protected is how you write uh, the description of how the ingredients go together, how you put it together, any pictures, things like that. So if you took a recipe that you saw somewhere, you could use the same ingredients and the same numbers, but you would have to write the recipe, the, the wording and stuff like that in your own words. You couldn't copyright that. So lists are not copyright, but anything that's words that you know is a sentence type thing that can be so quotes things like that you could take a quote and rewrite it so that it was in your own words and that's fine too okay but this is so great because it shows you all sorts of things you know here's funny thing I love this one I saw that I've said this one things to do while you poo on the loo um and there's just different 
books like this one. Um, I'm always, my daughter is an amazing anime artist and I'm always convincing her to try and she's just started doing an anime coloring book. So I actually, I'll promote that when it comes out so you guys can see it. But she's, she's actually started doing it. She has like three or four pictures in her anime coloring book, but I'm always encouraging her because it is big. So here's dad joke books. Here's jokes. Remember yet again, you can do a joke book, but you have to write the jokes yourself. You can take an idea from something, but you have to write the words yourself. Um, here, like more handwriting, easy piano sheet music for kids. This has more than just sheet music. There's actual directions in here. So if you have a specialty, don't, um, and it would lend itself to something like this, like a piano sheet music for kids. It has directions on how to uh, write notes and how to compose um, musical pieces and, and various things like that. This actually book I've looked into. Um, so it actually has some direction. So if you have a specialty or an expertise in something, you can write a few or three or four pages and then put blank sheets in the back, whether it, this, you know, it would obviously music sheets would make sense, but there's other things like that. Um, you know, journals or notebooks and things. If you are want to have a grief journal, um, you could, and you've had experience with grief. Maybe you write a few pages on things you've learned about grief and things that helped you and give some directions. And I think those things really make your book stand out. Here's dot to dots, um, another cookbook. And you can just keep going to the next page over and over and over again, right? So some of these are also going to be novels that um, have been independently published, but not everything, okay? Um, a lot of coloring books, some more, um, this was poetry. I thought that was really nice. You know, that's kind of an interesting idea. I know there's a few people who are really interested in doing poetry. So what about some sort of poetry around a theme? Obviously this person, it's doing really well. And this is a really simple cover, but it's really, you know, healing words. It's saying really something about, um, you know, you wish for things. I love the cover. It actually is simple, but very poignant. Um, okay. Uh, the big book of faces, you know, if you have a skill like drawing or something, you could teach someone a skill, um, and numbers and shapes, but you can see, you can just keep going through. Um, please don't do anything <laughs> that friends is a movie okay, or is a, a series, a TV series. Don't do anything like that. Okay. Unless you have permission, you know, you have a license, if you're, you're licensed and you paid for it. Great. Otherwise don't do it. Um, but here's something, pooping cats, a calendar. Um, so I know there's some people making calendars. Do you um, know that you do get a few complaints because through KDP, you obviously can't have a hole for the calendar um, to hang it up on your wall. But a lot of people like me too, I would just, you know, punch my own hole. It's not that hard. Um, let's see other things, dinosaurs, coloring books with baby animals, dot books, dot marker books. I thought this was great. Um, easy bake oven cookbook. So if you have some sort of strange specialty, um, you know, this could be something. I'm not so sure I would put easy bake oven cookbook just because easy bake oven is a trademark thing. Um, but, uh, you know, do some research on that because I am not positive if, if it's a case where you're making recipes for it, if it would work. Um, so I would do research. I'm not positive, but I don't know if I would do it without getting some legal guidance. Um, here's pooping dogs. Um, sight words. I actually talked about this, a sight word word search for kids. It's such a great idea. Um, air fryers, right? Okay, here's an activity book for kids. Um, a memoirs of, so this looks like it's an actual novel type book, password, um, please avoid like Harry Potter, things like that. Don't, don't do that. Um, mazes for kids, how to draw with photorealism. Yet again, if you have some sort of skill, write a book. Um, I'm a brave, confident kid, easy keyboarding songs for beginners, dots, Christmas books, exercises, Kindergarten writing paper, crossword puzzles, the serial killer coloring book. Interesting. Here looks like a, a pretty cute um, kid's book that someone did. Um, I really like that. That's a really good cover. Um, okay, so I'm just kind of taking you through and seeing, but can you see how there is an endless amount of ideas? You can keep going through and seeing what's selling well. And this, we're still here on like page, what are we on? Page like five or six 
but we're on page five and we're still in six thousands. So there is pretty much, you can keep clipping next and get a ton of different ideas, right? So this is just an amazing way to come up with ideas. So what I'm going to do is in the show notes, I'm going to include this link and you can basically click on it and it'll take you here. I wanna show you something real quick because you can change this and put CA com and CA are the only ones I've found works. Um, this actually took me to page five uh, of this Canadian, but let's go to page one. Um, okay, so now you can see in Canada, the Poo on the Lou is first. Um, and then this one is second, the air fryer. So it kind of shows you, I guess, Canada and .com are similar, but not necessarily the same. Uh, I did try it with the UK. It doesn't seem to work that way. So that's really what I wanted to show you. I think this is an amazing free way to go and see what independently books, um, published books are out there. And you can come up with endless ideas. Like I said, you do not have to just check out the top bestsellers. You can, you know, keep going down until you get to, you know, page 200 or something like that. Um, because that might give you some different ideas than just the very first few pages. All right. Well, I hope this was super helpful for you. I think it is such a cool idea and I will see you in my next video. So make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for being here.